Hey, hey, it's Janae. Welcome back to Joyfully Janae. If you are new here, I hope you find in your heart to subscribe. Today, I am bringing you guys some Father's Day meals um, ideas, and I hope that you guys will be inspired to cook your father, your husband, your grandpa, someone that you call your father, something yummy. I'm going to do quite a few, and it's all going to be on the pit boss, because what man doesn't like grilling or what man doesn't like grill food? So yeah, I did some really cool things on the pit balls. I've done some um, Philly cheese steak, but I did it with chicken, chicken fillies. Um, you could you could always swap it out for some sirloin or ribeyes. Um, I did some Mexican pizza with the um, carne, um, and then I did like a. So yes. So this video, I'm gonna do recipes, and then I'm gonna work on some crafting ideas for hubby father, whatever, um, with my Cricut. So let's get started. I'm gonna put this video out tonight, and then this part two is gonna be of all my crafting. Sorry, I was making sure I didn't have any bacon in my teeth. So today is just gonna be the recipes. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to, or by Friday, I'm gonna try to get out um, some ideas for gifting your father, your husband, whatever. But I'm, I've been so excited to share this these Pit Boss recipes with you guys. I've been kind of, um, you know, given sneak peeks of it on like my Instagram, on my, you know, Snapchat, um, all my social media, kind of like teasers of what I'm doing on my pit boss. But y'all, I'm so excited. So let's get to it. First up is my Philly cheese chicken flatbread, I mean, um, French bread. I took my peppers and onions and put mushrooms with some Creole, and I was I mixed up my dessert while I was at it. I mixed it with the strawberry glaze, um, my fruit for my sh So then I took some chicken thighs marinated in some Italian dressing, whatever you want, and then I put it on the pit boss while it cooks. I got my bread All ready. Right, so Mayonnaise, your preference. We love mayonnaise around here. Like, look, this literally just bought this last week. Oh, we love mayonnaise. When I say we love mayonnaise, we love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna add some of this hot pepper by Wickles. Some of this on my bread. mozzarella on each side and then I'm going to once once the chicken got done I cut it up and put it in my pan with my vegetables to kind of keep it hot and kind of get it all mixed together so once I put my um, my French bread on here I sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on the French bread with the mayonnaise and then I stick it on I treat and lightly bread. toast it. Then 
they turned out delicious. I just added some provolone cheese onto the bread once I put the meat and cheese on there. Made some stuffed jalapenos. You can get some from Publix Pre-Made. And did like a little side salad with it and it turned out delicious. So it's like a Philly cheesesteak meets French bread and then I got an angel food cake with my mixed berry. Mm -hmm. So yes, it turned out like delicious. Philly French bread pizza with some bacon, Caesar's American salad. Yeah, it's So another idea is just to get some leg quarters, some kebabs. Publix also makes the kebabs in Walmart, or you can make your own. And you just gotta get your chicken up to room temperature. I put some garlic butter and made some homemade mashed potatoes with red potatoes. And so if you are, if your husband's like keto or watches his figure or whatever, this is a good dish for like an Italian dish. I cooked my chicken sausages on here and then I just sliced up with my cookie, I mean my pizza cutter, some egg wraps and made homemade noodles out of it and then um, Rayo's marinara. Next up is my carne asada Mexican pizza. Yeah, I'm gonna get some Mexican spice on here, taco seasoning. Next up is my red sauce, my homemade red sauce, literally a can of tomato sauce mixed with a lot of taco seasoning. And bam, that's my red All sauce. Right, so now that the meat's done, I'm gonna turn it off. So now we layer bottom half tostada. In the middle, you take your red, your beans, and then you take your um, uh, your other tostada, and you put it on top. Oh no, you put your meat on, on the beans. Okay, so. so let's do it. I've got my Mexican pizzas. In the toppings.
Next up is my barbecue pulled pork recipe on the, on the blog. The video below. But I smoked some chicken, um, like green chicken, thighs, and legs, and a full Boston blend. And they are actually on. Now, I'm going to put this in 252. So I'm going to put that in the pan. Paste on top and cover. So literally super simple. I took some foil, put some frozen cooked shrimp on there and some asparagus, cooked it, and then took me some cabbage and a oven saved cookie sheet with some cabbage, seasoned all of it with some Creole and mix it all together and I've got a cabbage and shrimp stir fry. Super simple. Throw a steak with it and do some surf and turf. Literally marinate some thick pork chops in some Italian dressing and put a packet of that Italian dressing on top. Put some green beans and some olive oil in my cast iron skillet. Sprinkle some of that Italian um, uh, dressing packet on top of them and cook them babies till done on the 450, 475 setting. You can stick your probe in there with your pit balls and when it reads done, it needs to be a temperature uh, uh, 145, and you will see that your green beans are nice and blistered, and yeah, they'll be done. So if you put your grill on like 475 and up or high, that's like a grilling. You can use your pit boss as a grill, a bake uh, oven, a sear. You can use it for all kind of things, and that's what I'm experimenting. I've already cooked pizza on here and everything. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, happy Father Day, Father's Day to the fathers or to the single mamas playing the role as a mother and a father. Um, yeah, and all the papas and daddies mm -hmm. and, yeah, all the ones that have stepped up as a bonus Step staff. As a bonus staff. And also the ones that don't have a father, hang on to the scripture, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. 2 Corinthians six eighteen. God, God bless y'all. Anyways, have a wonderful night, and remember, here we are here to please God, not man. Bye, y'all. Even if the sky is falling down, Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down